Sena, NCP and Congress appear closer to forming the government in Maharashtra. The Times of India has reported that the three parties have finalized a common minimum program for the government. The report also stated that there seems to be an understanding on the distribution of portfolios, with Sena expected to get 16 ministries, while NCP and Congress may get 14 and 12. But the dispute remains on the top job as the NCP has reportedly demanded rotational CMship from the Sena. Common minimum program राज्य के हित की बात अगर हम करें जनता के हित की तो कोई कठिन काम नहीं है कोई भी अगर सरकार चलती है चाहे सिंगल पार्टी वाली सरकार हो मेजॉरिटी वाली या अलायंस वाली सरकार हो गठबंधन वाली चाहे उस गठबंधन में दो पार्टियां हो या पच्चीस पार्टियां हो सरकार तो कॉमन मिनिमम प्रोग्राम पे चलती Union Minister Nitin Gadkari compared politics to cricket, where the game can change at any moment. When asked about the political crisis in Maharashtra, where Shiv Sena and BJP have parted ways, Gadkari said that sometimes a game seems lost, but the final result is the exact opposite. Similarly, the minister added, anything can happen in politics. Anything can happen in cricket and politics. <laughs> Somewhere you feel that you are losing match, but <laughs> the result is ultimately exactly opposite to that. Calling out Pakistani propaganda on Kashmir, columnist Sunanda Vashish told a US congressional hearing on human rights in Washington on Thursday that India has not occupied Kashmir and it was always an integral part of India. Vashish added that there is no India without Kashmir and no Kashmir without India. At the second hearing by US Congress in three weeks on Jammu and Kashmir, Vashish stated that terrorists trained by Pakistan had caused ISIS level of horror and brutality in the Kashmir Valley long before the West was even introduced to brutalities of radical Islamic terrorism. The Supreme Court on Friday dismissed the Enforcement Directorate's plea challenging bail to Karnataka Congress leader D.K. Shivakumar by the Delhi High Court in a money laundering case. The court also rebuked the agency and pulled up the Enforcement Directorate for copy-pasting its arguments from the plea against ex-finance minister P. Chidambaram's case without editing. This wasn't the way to treat citizens, just as RF Nariman remarked before dismissing the Enforcement Directorate's appeal. Delhi is on its last day of odd-even scheme and it seems the pollution control efforts by the Delhi government have made little difference. The AQI was recorded in the severe category with major pollutants PM2.5 and PM10 at severe plus level of 500 in parts of the capital. A thick blanket of smog covered many areas of the national capital and schools remained closed for the second consecutive day. CM Kejriwal had earlier in the week hinted at an extension of the odd-even scheme and it is to be seen if the decision will be taken. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has said that the government will monitor air quality in the capital over the weekend and will decide on extending or even scheme on Monday if needed. The capital's air quality has remained in the severe zone for many days. Friday was the last day of the or even scheme. We will see if the air quality is in the air, then we will not have to do it. Otherwise, we will take it in the morning and we will take it in the morning and we will take it in the morning. Who would have thought of a day when people will gasp for a breath of fresh air? And some would pay 299 rupees to breathe in oxygen for 15 minutes. Yes, this is happening right in the national capital. Oxybar is offering what it calls pure oxygen at a premium and it comes in different flavors. Right to breathe clean air, did you say? Yes, if you can cough up money. The rest can just pray. Actor turned politician Kamal Hassan on Thursday echoed superstar Rajnikanth, saying that all good leaders of Tamil Nadu are gone and that the state suffers from political vacuum. Rajnikanth, who's expected to float his own political party ahead of 2021 assembly polls, had said last week that state was sorely in need of powerful leadership. The comment had drawn protests from the ruling AIA DMK as well as the opposition DMK. 260 international writers and artists, including Nobel laureate Orhan Pamuk, GM Kotsi, and Booker Prize winner Salman Rushdie, have written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, urging him to review the government decision to revoke author Atish Tasir's citizenship status. The writers have stated that Tasir appears to have been targeted due to his writings that are critical of the government. 
After celebrating their first wedding anniversary in Tirupati, B Town's favorite couple Ranveer and Deepika visited Amritsar's Golden Temple. In the now viral pictures, the couple can be seen offering prayers at the Golden Temple along with their respective families.